blood supply of uterus we can memorize it very easily and mnemonic is you are strong and bold look says strong and bold so you are strong and bold that you for uterine artery r a r that is arcuate artery and then radial artery strong and bold that is spiral artery and basal artery this is the longitudinal section of a of uterus here by the side of the uterus outside it it is uterine artery they are in pair we can see here this is our uterine artery in pairs now they are giving arcuate artery one on the anterior aspect and another one as it at its posterior aspect there are so many arcuate artery we, we can see here and this is the transverse section this is arcuate artery it okay now arcuate artery in radial fashion they are giving the radial artery okay radial artery in radial fashions that's why they are known as radial artery and arcuate artery forming an arch anteriorly and posteriorly so known as arcuate artery now radial artery gives two type of branch uh, two type of branches that is one is is spiral in the spiral form and goes up to stratum spongiosum whereas another one is the basal artery which restrict itself up to the stratum basal we all know that in the histological layer of uterus from inside out first there is endometrium then myometrium and then perimetrium endometrium again divided into from luminal aspect that is uterine cavity outside it is stratum functional and stratum basal stratum functional again divided into stratum spongiosum and stratum compactum which form a compact layer towards the uterine cavity and this is stratum functional both stratum spongiosum and compactum all together form the stratum functional which sloughs off during menstruation and this is a stratum basal the lower one third basal part of the endometrium it give rise to stratum functional after menses here we can clearly see this is uterine artery as this is the longitudinal section this is uterine artery here is the arcuate artery this one which give rise to radial artery in radial fashion at different level and then give rise to this one is the basal artery which restrict itself up to the stratum basal and in coiled fashion this is the spiral artery which is going up to the stratum spongiosum thank you